Yes! I think it's probably okay. Okay, this is not that bad. Pre-Marino. <laughs> okay. That is the male counterpart of the Gen 7 starter. Let's just Aqua Tail here. Okay, we need to slow down. All right, we have to switch. Um, there's another Poison Jab probably landing on this slot. Let's go to Snorklops for now. Murtris would also be kind of okay, but I think the Lapras attacks are a little threatening on it. Not super threatening, but... Does that kill? Nice. Okay... I don't want to learn Heavy Slam. I'm assuming it takes the weight of the body of the Pokémon that it's fused with, right? Okay, there's Gengkhan. Good thing I taught Crunch. I actually counter this now. It might have Crunch as well, but... I think that's okay. Tailwind is whatever. Doesn't matter. At least for me. Yeah, that's fine. Hit, just hit Gary's. Just hit Gary's mons. Wonderful. Huge defense drop. Absolutely nutty. Did not need you to target that, but it's fine. At least you get some healing out of it. But, I mean, you die anyway, right? Not a good play, Gary. Not a good play. Yeah, I think we just leave the Pre Marino alive here. Just leave the Grunt's Pokemon alive and just focus. Just just pin the uh, Giovanni slot. Should be fine. Slam it. Oh yeah, he even heals the f***ing Grunt Pokemon, that's so perfect. No! That was not the plan, Gary! That was not the f***ing plan! Listen to me! The f***ing Sand Queen is swords dancing in front of your face! What are you doing, bro? I'm not even doing any damage, Jesus Christ. Let's try to get a para here. I guess it's 2v1 now. I guess it doesn't matter if the Grunt's Pokemon is dead or not. It soaked the healing on him, that's good. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm talking about, Gary. This is a plus two earthquake that we're eating here. Jesus Christ. Okay, no more tailwinds. Um, I guess the Bliss Thorn switch is okay, but that puts a um, poison weakness on the field, um, which I then have to switch out of into Mutras. I could also go hard Mutras. But I don't think it's ever going to be a poison move on the Snorklap slot. So, let's do Bliss Thorn here. I don't know why Gary's Pokemon are different, but I guess... I also access the PC in between these fights, so... Okay, that's wonderful. Alright, use your f***ing... Gus Fring ass to take the Sand Queen down, alright? I'm afraid of a plus two, like, poison attack hitting me, so I'm switching to Mutress. Huge. Nice. There we go. Do I cancel this Snorlax evolution? I still think that without access to Protect, the Eviolite version might be slightly better. I'm really not sure. Nah, f*** it, we'll evolve it. We'll take it. He's very happy.
He's just happy to be part of the team. Our boy Snornor. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. You know what? It's fine. Chikorita Gaming. I mean, like, you know what? We can put, like, it gets good moves. Kinda. Not really. <laughs> I mean like, okay, I think, I'm gonna say all three picks here, here were kinda mid. We don't have access to any hidden abilities, so there's no adaptability passing on from Typhlosion. Um, but I, I, I'm pretty sure I still picked the worst, the worst one here, but... But I don't think the other two would've been dramatically better. Just pointing that out. Oh yeah, the upgrade. True. We, need, we have access to Porygon too right now. Um... I guess. Go to the highest floor. Oh. Super splicers. What did that do? What was that? Oh, focus band. Oh, crr. PP Max is actually kind of huge. Super Soldier just makes the highest level. Okay, yeah, nobody cares. Cool. I think what I'm probably- I'm just kind of ignoring EVs right now, and as soon as we get to the E4, I'm just gonna, um, use the debug mode to get, put EVs on everyone. I do not know what we're going to fuse that with. No f***ing clue. Okay, so the problem... with, um, our flame is that it doesn't learn any good poison moves and it, everything's going to have psychic coverage. Um... I think what we actually want for this is Snornor, we definitely want Muttress, we definitely want Blissthorn, and we just make the stalliest stall team of them all. And then at some point during the stall, we find an opportunity for Kleftos to switch in and set up D-Dance. That would be my initial plan for this gym fight. Like, I'm gonna teach Toxic to Snornor.
I have sleep talk toxic. I don't give a f Can I get a wide lens anywhere? Does anyone know? Can't find anything on it? Okay. That's fine. I'm not even gonna bother to pick up my dojo encounter yet, um, because I don't think it's gonna help with anything at any point here. Um, uh, such a dumb Pokemon. Okay. Do I just want a PP Max Gunk Shot? Participating in the event on Saturday, just hosting it? I'm just hosting it. PP Max soft boiled. I guess. We'll think about it another time. Could have dodged it, but a little bit too slow on it. Oh, I can't turn off the music from here. I, I guess I could just mute the thing, but we're just gonna listen to this music for now. And annihilated. Holy sh! Water fairy. Uh oh. Maybe I should have stayed in. This is not gonna take any damage, is it? Like, absolute zero damage. Just none. Let's try Snornor. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Oh, wait! Oops. Well, oh look, the keychain says Helix. Guess we're not gonna be as stally for this gym. Oh, my key. It's probably part steel, right? No, it has to be part fairy because we're in the fairy gym. Just use a rage candy bar. If we accept that that's a thing, we're just never... The problem is... If we accept that that's a thing, we just go to the level cap for every single fight and then just rage candy bar after every single fight, and therefore XP management is just no longer a thing. I don't think that's fun. One time exception. No, f off. I know why that was so high leveled already. Okay, First what do we do? I've caught in a while long. This is not really good. I think. At this point, I think with I think this needs substitute to be good. I think. We could- we could use this. It's just like a good Pokemon. Okay, let's do it. It's got a cool sprite. I'm probably gonna do Meloeon instead, to be honest. But like, I can use this for the gym trainers. Does get Roost. And light screen. Moon blast. Not that I need it.
That's pretty cool. It's a stall enable. What? Because it has <laughs> light screen? I don't know, man. I think it's Maloion. Uh, it's this one. And then we just gotta fight these two. We'll do them one by one. Double fights are hard. That's really cute. <laughs> He's got a little bow. He's so happy. It's a heal ball, yeah. Or a love ball or whatever. That's also fantastic. Um, since this is the head, I believe it has to be Water Fairy. Yeah. Um, let's just go to this. Wait, it is part steel. Wait, why? Okay, can I be freed from the whirlpool? No. I literally cannot damage this. There we go. It is Steel Fairy. It shouldn't be, right? Because Empoleon's first typing is water. They just bent the rules for it for no reason. Empoleon is steel water for fusions, I see. Hey January, I know this isn't a lot, but I wanted to thank you for inspiring me to start streaming. I made a spirit account just to donate to you. Don't want to promote myself. Dick move there. I don't know why I cut you off. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you. That is a lot of money. I appreciate it. I think we figured out how to make TTS say my name correctly, right? I forgot what it was. Was it like Y-A-N-N -N or something? Let's keep Curse on this, I think. Hmm. Tough call. Oh, was it J-A-H-N? I don't know. Let's keep Curse. I'm gonna PP Max Gyro Ball. Okay, I think it's Muttress, Blissthorn, Maloyan, and Kleftos, and I think Maloyan is the most flexible lead here. Okay. Basically, we're just gonna stall until we find an opening for Kleftos to set up Dragon Dances. That's gonna be the plan. We stall till we ball, exactly. Actually, pretty good start for us. I think we can just click a Surf. They're gonna be okay. This is Fairy Fire. It's got good stats, but so do we, and we have Recovery. Good start. Marrow Q. Okay. I'm assuming this wants to use a ground move on me. It's ground fairy. 
I think it's both thorn time. Beautiful. Let's just poison it. We could soft boiled once to to scout. I think I like it. Okay, we're fine. That's a lot of damage. Holy sh! And I miss toxic. Why does it do that much damage? I guess it has a thick club? Let's intimidate it. How the f I have to just hit it. How can this do this much damage? I'm so confused. That's faster than me. No way. Okay, I think Blissthorn tanks one now. I think. Dude, Kleftos was the carry for this run. Or I kill it with Meloeon, I'm not sure. I don't know if it'll kill. It's pretty bulky. Yeah, if it has Disguise, it's still up. Wait, doesn't- does Disguise- Disguise doesn't get announced, right? No. So after you hit it. The other one would be Rockhead. I think Blissthorn. I actually did not see the play rough damage, but I'm almost certain I live one now. I have to, right? Okay, I need to not get crit ever. Okay, at least we're full now. That's fine. I don't know why that- the, the AI is just f***ing weird. It's just f***ing weird. I have to play like very straight up with it. No crit this turn. We have to remember that AI switches. If he's about to die to toxic damage. We can kind of use that to our advantage. I also need to start saving soft boils. I also didn't fill up my gyro ball PP. I should have cursed last turn. That's fine. A lot of small mistakes here kind of accumulating with my PP management. Let's curse again. Okay, I don't know why it's earthquaking, but it's, that's like really good for me. I think he's gonna switch next turn. I'm gonna try to call out a switch here and Toxic. The downside isn't that big. Max Potion, okay. Just keep cursing. Nice. I'll try it again this turn. I have plenty of toxic PP. Yep. 
good call. Huge. That's a drift one with huge power. That's not that scary. It's gonna have a flying move though, huh? But I'm like, I'm set up. I'm plus four. This is Ghost Fairy. It doesn't even get stab on flying type moves. I am definitely Curse not switching here. Sounds like an absolute war crime. Let's curse again. Oh, we're so fine, chat. Holy sh! We are so fine. With the way that the toxic AI works... Entry hazards are actually really f***ing good. I know that Muktris gets spikes. We definitely need to keep that in mind. This can't have Unbird- I uh, can't have Aftermath. I'm just gonna click Gyro Ball here. Big pumpy. Oh, it does have aftermath. Okay, that's very weird. I guess they just do what they want with the abilities now. That's actually a little bit bad. I'm like dead to crit from this now. This is no longer intimidated either. I can't switch. I need to hope- oh wait, no, yeah, 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 I'm dead to crit. Um, I need to hope for not crit. There's a stealth arc tutor in okay, okay, okay. Yeah, entry hazards are gonna be huge if I play stall, which it looks like I will. For the most part, at least my best mons are stall mons right now. He has unfortunately two opportunities to crit here, but neither of them do. Although one crit wouldn't even do it. Oh, Chai, you know what I'm gonna do after this fight? I'm gonna end stream. I have homemade pork stock that I made yesterday. I'm gonna make rice and beans with it. I'm so f***ing excited. Is it worth it to click Gyro Ball and use one of its PP? I think I'm gonna use Toxic here to conserve one Gyro Ball PP. And now I'm going to call out the switch again. Oh, didn't switch. This isn't the last mon, right? God, a Blissthorn is so f***ing good! <laughs> oh, this Pokemon. I can't. Oh, that looks sick! Oh my god. Okay, we cannot Toxic this. Um, we can gyro ball it, but it's not going to do a lot of damage because it's 40 base speed. We're definitely staying in, though. Oh, it's going to set up cosmic power. I need to switch, I think. That was a crit. And it's got a rocky helmet. How am I going to kill this? I think I have to go to Maloyon. If it's got Earthquake, this is kind of over. And I need to switch sooner rather than later. Because of Cosmic Power setup. Mutris can't even touch it, unfortunately. <sighs> the only other way I can kill it is with iron barbs. If that's its most damaging move, we're okay.
Okay. It's a Ford KO. Fish for the para here. That's fine. It's Cosmic Power, Wish, Seismic Toss. Why are you switching if you're plus 6 def? I cannot do damage to it. I will run out of Gyro Ball PP before I do half of this guy's health bar. And in the meantime, he might set up um, like 6 cosmic powers on me and then become unkillable. Be horrible to stay in there for even one more turn. Very happy with my decision to bring Meloe on, I'm not gonna lie. It's really important here. Although I guess Noctabuzz would have done the same thing, kinda. Not as well though, it definitely would have opened as well. I didn't mean to recover there, I meant to Thunderbolt. Oh, it's got Toxic. Okay, that's good to know. That means if we run it out of Seismic Tosses... I think I win either way. Okay, we just win here though. GG. That was really scary. That... That Marowak... That Marowak, um... Mimikyu was really scary. Clefados is a huge loss. It was one of my best Pokemon. It's actually crazy too because we have that since early game. We had it on our team pretty much the entire time. It was like the main character of this run. It's okay though. We unlock so much now. We unlock so unbelievably much. Fucking Dragonite Dragon Dances, possibly with Simple. Uh, Slacking gets a ton of combos that we can do with it now. Uh, we get Mimikyu to possibly combo with Slacking, for example. Um, we get access to ability changers, we get access to a ton of encounters. Substitute for, um, for a Spore Prankster Pokemon, yeah. We're like all set now, I think. We've made it through like the hard part where we don't have access to all the super, super broken sh I think we're good to go.